Okay, welcome. Today I'm going to be offering some reflections and a kind of review of Richard Beard's Sad Little Men, um, where he talks about private education, especially boarding school, and how that relates to the current leadership of Boris Johnson, uh, David Cameron, etc, etc. So, thank you. Okay, so um, someone asked me yesterday um, on Twitter about this book, what did I love about it? And so as I was reflecting, I was like, oh, I haven't done a review for uh, Richard Beard's book. Um, I reached out to him a couple of times to come on my podcast and both times he'd been quite busy um, and so he Hopefully one day he will come on, but I think from what he said, he was just really, really busy giving lots of talks. So what I'd like to do is just, you know, talk a little bit about the book. So what did I think overall? Uh, the synopsis, I really thought it was a great book. I really enjoyed it. And as I, as I was saying yesterday when asked the question, what I loved about it, I, what I loved is that having been to boarding school myself, so much of what he said, I was like, it was from an aspect I hadn't thought about. I was like, wow, yeah, that really resonates with me. Some of the stories, for example, for example, um, like Richard, I was very much into sport. And he says, oh, the only time I saw my father was when I was on the sports field, but he was on the touchline. The same with me. My father would come and watch, but he wouldn't stay. And oftentimes I wouldn't even speak to him after the match. He would just disappear again. Uh, and so it was like that, like ships in the night. I, you know, didn't really see see my father. Um, so, yeah, so there was lots of instances like that. So I really enjoyed this book. And essentially what he's uh, doing here is he's kind of referring to this period of 1975 to 1984 when he was at boarding school and it was at very similar times to David Cameron and Boris Johnson so he's trying to look at the trauma that he went through the separation the uh, the challenges the emotional austerity with how uh, Boris Johnson and David Cameron and as he reflects in this book so many of the current leaders of the UK government and leadership full stop uh, are in um, who went to boarding school 63% of judges the head of the MI of MI5 or MI6 the head of the, the the Church of England I think even Cressida Dick who's now re resigned from uh, the police all of these people have been to boarding school um, so yeah I just found it really fascinating from that perspective. So he goes through different areas um, and he talks about, you know, separation, parents, teachers, values, you know, the escapes, what they learned, what you learned, the lessons, the finished product, because, you know, we're, we're told this, this will be the making of you, you'll be the finished product. Um, and, you know, success, failure, and this importance of secrets and lies, which is what you see a lot in the government, is this, this thing that people will say one thing, there's no party. <laughs> and actually there is, it's like this, and, and we kind of learn this at school. Um, so yeah, I really, really do love this book. Um, some people, certainly on Amazon, some of the critiques or in the, the newspapers saying, you know, it jumps around quite a bit. And while that's true, I really like that because it's different. A lot of the, the books, you know, like psychology books that I read, are quite linear. Whereas this is kind of more of a story. This is explaining Richard Beard's experience of school, uh, of what it was like for him. You know, so what I would like to do is just kind of link into some, some quotes. Um, you know, and so many of these things were like aha, aha moments for me. So at one point, page 92, he says, the truth is that, that we're living weeks 
on end without love. You know, these things really touched me. Our inner selves were sick with fear and grief and loss, and the only cure was going back home. If that wasn't going to happen, and it wasn't, the feelings needed to be shared, shoved out of sight, which made easier by the insane busyness of an average boarding school day. So again, Nick Duffel bringing in, in his book, Trauma, Abandonment and Privilege, he sort of talks about this idea of timetabling, that ex-boarders uh, and at boarding school, we're just busy, 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 busy. Um, from, for me, it was seven o'clock in the morning through till nine o'clock at night as I got older, 10, you know, always busy. Other thing he says here, page 59, saying skin hunger create, creates avoidant people. So boarding school, you know, you didn't touch someone else. If you touched someone else, you were called, you, you were called gay. So this avoidant people, we didn't. But we need that as humans. We need to be touched, hugged, loved. And at boarding school, that doesn't happen. And, and he points this out. Um... You know, he says boarding school is where we learned to despise other people. Yeah, totally. I think it begins with we learn to despise ourselves and then we learn to despise other people as well. And if you look at Pete Walker's book, uh, CPTSD, he talks about this inner critic, but also the outer critic. The inner critic would beat ourselves up, but also the outer critic judging others. Um, we Page 137. We ached, ached for love. So many of these things really, really touch me. Um, what are some other quotes? Um, you know, page 171. I was so uncertain about who I really was. You know, for me, leaving school, you know, the, the, the head teacher saying, you know, you've gone to great things for me, but I didn't know who I was. Um, and that came apart in my 20s working in the city when I had a breakdown. So there's, yeah, there's so many amazing things in this book. I really would recommend if you've not read it, um, then please do, you know, go and go and read it. Uh, and, you know, to support him, please do go onto Amazon or one of these other sites and leave a review. Uh, I think that's so important to get this work out there more and more, because for me, this is so important that, you know, these guys who are leading our countries, the Boris Johnsons, you know, the, the head of the Telegraph, I think, the, the head of MI6, you know, these are ex-boarders. They've gone through the same form of trauma. And as um, some of these attachment-based trauma experts are saying, it's like when we separate, you know, as um, Richard Beard says, creates avoidant people. In the, and Nick Duffel says in an article in The Guardian, we don't make good uh, leaders because we don't have that emotional side. We don't, we're not able to feel how our decisions would impact someone else. And yet these are the people who are in charge. So I think this is a really, really amazing book. So please do um, to buy a copy um, and share this. So I hope that's been of of use um trying to think of anything else to say about it yeah i've got literally <laughs> dozens of, of quotes that i i took from it um i won't go um go into all of them um yeah so essentially you know it's really useful to just go through his own experiences um and it links it into the experiences of Boris Johnson, David Cameron, and some of these other leaders, and how it traumatised him, uh, Richard Beard, and therefore how it traumatises the, these other people, and it doesn't make them into good leaders, you know. So he talks about that. So I really do recommend reading this. So any questions, please do let me know. As far as my podcast is concerned, I've got... Uh, uh, Michael Boyle to talk about archetypes more in more depth about purpose on this Friday. Then next week, hopefully, I'll be speaking to uh, Bruce Parry, the explorer, used to be on the BBC, 
and the week after I've got um, Rod Boothward coming to speak about the lover archetype and also been asked to interview other people as well. Um, so yeah, got some interesting guests coming on. If you've not watched Michael Maisie's uh, interview from last Friday, um, going into um, basically prison, drug addiction and how he transformed, I think that's really inspiring just to see that you know, no matter what trauma we've been through, whether that is boarding school or some other childhood trauma, we can heal. And, you know, and his story is really intense, but very inspirational. Um, so, yeah, enjoy. And, uh, yeah, please do buy this book. Okay, take care.